Hey guys, so I'm um, sorry, I have a little bit of a sore throat. It's not because I'm sick, you guys always think, like, oh, yeah, you're always sick. Um, I, I get really bad allergies now, which is weird because, you know, growing up, I never ever had allergies. That was always a problem my sister had, but never me. But I really had allergies, and it's, it's really cloudy. See, I'm not lying. It's been really cloudy in SoCal. At least it's not raining. It was raining for like two weeks straight. But even though it's a little bit cloudy and it's a little bit early for this, I think maybe, I got a bunch of really fun, colorful nail polishes that maybe will help you guys get some ideas for spring. So I guess the first one I'll do is just the one I'm wearing on my hand. So I went like nail polish crazy. One of the things I really wanted to do um, beauty-wise in the new year, like kind of like a beauty resolution, and personal ones, and I also had like beauty ones, was to not be scared of buying things that would be ugly because I think before I would always be really scared like you guys know I, I never really got anything that was like bright or colorful you know I didn't really experiment a lot because I was always afraid of it being ugly you know I've tried a few colorful nail polishes and they just look so ugly to me and I was like they're always going to be ugly I'm just never going to be able to wear color and I've come to realize that that's not true you know once I stopped being scared of things being ugly and I just was more willing to try them out I found a lot of really cute colorful nail polishes and so you know still some ones that I thought were still ugly but ones that are a lot better so the first one I was talk about is this one is flash bulb fuchsia this is my opi Let's see i think this one's really pretty it's like a really pretty magenta fuchsia color it's very lustrous looking it has like a really shimmery pearlescent quality to it which i think is really cool i think it's a little bit bright for the weather right now but then i kind of like it kind of cheers me up so um i really like this one i think it was only two coats it was pretty much opaque with one coat but then you know it's a little streaky still as opi can be opi is usually not opaque with one coat unless it's like really good brush so I really like this one I think it's a gorgeous color uh, the next one this one I love <laughs> this is, I tweeted a picture of this you guys can follow me on Twitter if you want and this is kind of the one that I took a chance on this is like my first colorful nail polish that I really took a chance on just because you know like I said I wanted to kind of experiment outside of my box and I was so surprised by how much I love it so it looks a little bit darker on camera than it actually is it's a little bit lighter um, but you guys have already seen that photo it's do you lilac it and it's literally like one of the prettiest nail polish colors I've ever seen in my entire life the staying power is really good it stayed maybe four days or so so I really really love this color it's just one of those colors that you look at on your fingers and you're just like wow it's so pretty just a beautiful mid lilac color would be so perfect for spring and so I absolutely love this color too I really think everyone should buy it so the next color I tried that I maybe didn't like as much this one was Meet Me on the Star Fairy and I got this one from OPI so at first I thought it would be kind of like more metallic-y um, in person it looks like more of a metallic but then when you paint it on your fingers it really ends up being a kind of silver silvery dark purple and it, the, it, it's not bad, but it's not really good. It's not a color that I would like recommend to people, you know. It's it's just an okay color. It doesn't make me happy when I look at it. It's kind of plain. I would maybe use it to like match something, like match my clothes, match my accessories to it, but I wouldn't want to just wear it for itself, so I would probably pass on this one if I was to try it again. And the next one I got was OPI's I Don't Give a Rotterdam. This one became really popular in the beauty community, and I thought that it would be like a really fun color to use because I had seen pictures on it. You know, I was like, wow, that's a really nice nail polish color. <laughs> and from far away, it looks like a beautiful color. If you look at it in a picture, it looks like a beautiful color. If you see it in person, it's so flat and boring. It was just a really awkward, too gray of a color. It's it's super boring. I hated this. Um, you guys can see the little sparkles. It took maybe like four coats. It was a lot of coats for this one. And it was just a really flat color. It looks very flat. It's not interesting at all when you look at it, and so I didn't like it. But I like it from far away. Photos from far away, it looks good, but up close, in person, it's really underwhelming. The next thing I got, I didn't like this one either. This is the OPI. This is their Samoan Sand. Um, I, I'm really into, like, you know those mannequin hand nails? I really like that. I think it's a really pretty, practical look. It, like, goes with everything. But then, I don't know, I just thought that this was an okay color. It was really too sheer. I had to put on so many coats to make it opaque. And once it was finally color, it was just so thick. Um, so, you know, if there's some way they can make this a little bit more opaque, then I think I would like it more. But I still think I like my Zoya one. I, have, I forget the name of it now, but I'll, I'll find it right here. But I had a Zoya one that I really liked, and I, I really like that one for, like, mannequin hands. But maybe this one not so much. I, don't, I thought this one was kind of boring. And then the next one I got was the Chanel one. I love this one. This was kind of a limited edition one, and I was late on the train, and then I got a little bit of a deal on it, so... I got it, and this is May, and it actually has this on in a few of my videos. You guys really liked it. It's a really cute, pretty bubblegum pink, but because of that, you know, it's obviously not super special or anything. It's just a bubblegum pink, but I still think it's a really cute color. So I really like this one as well. 
So my whole life I've kind of been an OPI girl. I've always liked OPI. Essie not so much. Essie doesn't work as well with me just because the brush is so skinny and the formula is really like viscous and it kind of like sticks to each other. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of Essie. You're either an Essie girl or you're an OPI girl. And I've never liked Orly that much. Even though I have Orly's, their pink base coat, and I use it for my French manicure, which I haven't done in forever, huh? So I like Orly for that, but then for some reason, I never really ventured out into their polishes. And I think it's because I think their bottle is boring. And I think, I know that's a ridiculous thing to say, because why would you care about the bottle, you know? But I think a lot of fun about makeup and nail polish in general is just to have it, you know? Just to be able to look at it on your desk. You're like, oh, it's so pretty and cute. It's so so cute look at it it's just like little containers you know and for some reason orly bottles always looked really boring to me <laughs> so i finally got a bunch of orly stuff because it was on sale and i was like okay well let's just give it a try so the first one i got was this gold solid gold one so i had this on in my outfit of the day video and i discovered i actually love orly orly their formula is so good i would say it's actually better than opi because i really have no problems with chipping when i use orly it'll go maybe five whole days with no significant chips maybe like small tiny ones you know like really small ones but if you saw it from far away it would just look perfect um so i was so surprised both of these polishes literally five days like no significant chips whatsoever which is amazing because i do hot yoga which always makes my nail polish chip you know I work out a lot. I'm, I'm very physical with my hands and so it's really hard for me to get polished not to chip. And so this one's just a matte gold. You guys can see it's like a bronzy gold. First coat it looks weird but then once you get like two coats on it or three coats on it it looks perfect. It's just really cool texture. I really liked it. And then this is the other one I got. This one is Ancient Jade. When I first wore this I didn't think I would like it and then I kept playing with it and I was like oh I really like it now. It's one of those colors that you try it first and the first time you try it you just think it's okay and then you go back and you're like oh it's really really cute. I really like it. So it's very minty, I know, it's kind of typical, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's a really cute color, and it literally lasted forever, it lasted five or six days, which is just amazing. And it, it kind of makes me sad though now, because now I'm like, oh, I want to buy more Orly, but for some reason, Orly bottles just don't make me happy. Like, I look at this, this, this doesn't make me happy. This makes me happy, I don't know why. It's something about the bottle, it's just a turn off for me, but then the formula is so great that I think I'm going to start buying more Orly polishes, because it's such a good formula. So that's it. Uh, I'm gonna have some photos of some of these polishes of all the ones that I've taken on my blog Which will be down in the description box. So you guys can kind of see like an it in photo Obviously because you guys can only see this polish right now, which is like super bright. Oh, it's like a really good summer color So basically I would definitely recommend these guys All of these guys are kind of what I'm really into right now <laughs> This lilac one though. I'm, I'm obsessed with the DU lilac. I'm so obsessed. It's such a pretty color I just it was one of those colors where you're driving and then as you're driving, you literally get distracted by how pretty your fingernails are. Oh, and I'm also going to have like a really big haul soon because I got a bunch of really cute like clothes and stuff. And all my pieces of clothing like, under $20 I think was the most expensive piece. So it was, I just went crazy shopping the other day because I found so many deals. I just couldn't buy stuff, buying stuff, buying stuff. So I'm really excited to show you guys and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.